Hi, it's Gwyneth here on a fabulous Feel Good Friday. I hope you've had an amazing week. It's been quite intense, I have to say. There was that new moon in Leo and new moons. Oh, crikey, they affect, affect my sleep a lot. You know, some people, they say they go crazy with the full moon, but the new moon kind of <laughs> lying there awake for hours thinking, why am I awake? Anyway, Something happened a couple of weeks ago that really kind of, uh, you know, got me thinking. I think a lot. I reflect a lot. I think it's important to not take anything for granted and to, um, you know, challenge ourselves every day if need be. Are we doing what we really love to do? Could we be doing better? You know, am I providing the best service to my clients, to my customers that I possibly could? Am I being fair to myself? Have I got those boundaries in place? All that stuff I always talk about. And um, so it's my birthday on when Monday and I'm going to be 55 now I've never been bothered about age and I'm not particularly bothered about being 55 it's just that 55 somehow it's like crikey you know what am I going to do with the with the rest of my working life with the rest of my life and as I've been thinking about this one of my sisters gave me, I don't know why she had it, she didn't know why she had it, she she gave me a photograph of me when I was 15, so that's like 40 years ago, it's like wow, 40 years ago, and I looked at that photograph and I thought, crikey, what happened to that teenager? You know, I'm going to put the photograph up on the screen in a minute, this stripy fabulous stripy pullover that I loved to wear I, I don't know what happened to it actually but my other sister made it for me because I was useless at knitting but um so the other sister had so I've got two sisters so one sister gave me the photograph where I'm showing off a new feather earring and the other sister had knitted this fabulous photo um jumper pullover for me and I'm thinking, I'm looking at this, and I think, crikey, you know, it was 40 years ago, I was 15, and now I'm going to be 55. And like I said, this isn't a kind of a crisis, but this is a definite, like, I need a plan. I need to be absolutely fixated on this plan, and I have to stop worrying so much about what other people think about me. Because when I looked at that photo, you know, that was a point in my life, eventually I had then seven earrings. I used to wear big Diamante um, uh, things. I used to love jumble sales um crumbs when i when i worked in london i i worked in the office at kensington market don't know if any of you remember kensington market if you're in england if you're old enough but um i worked in kensington market i used to go out with a really cool crowd of people from kensington market to a club in london called heaven where one day i bumped into sue pollard of heidi high fame i mean life was completely different it you know it wasn't luxurious by any means but it was carefree that's the word i'm looking for and so as i'm looking at this photo i'm thinking to myself what happened to that person what happened to that person who didn't worry about what people thought about her earrings her pullover her hair um going out to these crazy uh places having fantastic time dancing what happened to that person and what has happened to now kind of not push me so much into a box because I love what I do, don't get me wrong, I love what I do, but what has kind of dampened my spirit, if you like? And it, it is, it's this fear of judgment of what other people will think. And then I thought to myself, yeah, but you know what? Um, people are going to judge me regardless I put this out on Facebook as well and I wrote in there, I said, you know, I'd be really interested to see what some of my friends think of this post because I know that some people will judge me. But the thing is, some people will judge me regardless of what I do. You'll be judging me watching this video regardless of what I say. So this week I've decided with my 55th fifth birthday coming up on Monday that if people are going to judge me, then why don't I actually at least attempt to get back to the carefree bit of me that I left behind in my teenage years or in my early 20s? Gosh, record companies, completely different story. But do you know what I mean? So what bit of you have you left behind that maybe you've completely forgotten about? 
go and look at some old photos and ask yourself who you were then, you know, back in the day. Maybe you look at them as you think, oh, crikey, thank goodness I'm not a teenager anymore. I'm very glad I'm not a teenager anymore, by the way. But just think about the, your personality, the characteristics, the things that you love to do, your carefree attitude to what people thought of you or didn't think of you. And ask yourself, what would happen if you actually started bringing those values, bringing those characteristics back into your life now? I'm not saying, you know, go and do something completely daft that upsets your entire family. Or do if it makes you feel good. I don't know. But I changed my Facebook and my LinkedIn banners. I've got gold sparkle on them now. <laughs> I took away my serious face. I've got gold sparkle on my banners. And I'm talking about sales. Sales, selling, dirty words. Dirty words, especially for women in business. I'm not going to swear now, but you get the picture, right? So what did you leave behind? Did you leave something behind? Is there something you left behind that actually you owe it to yourself? to bring back again as you're getting older. I don't think this is a midlife crisis. I don't, wouldn't call it a crisis. I just call it, um, I think it's a wake up call. That's what it is. So let me know, what bit did you leave behind? In between times, stay safe, stay healthy. Have a fabulous Feel Good Friday, an amazing weekend. Loads of love and bye for now.